Ladies and gentlemen, let's imagine that I had a company and we're going to call it Grandma 11, it's a GL Corporation. Now in Grandma 11 Corporation, we make software. We make, so remember that would be like lines of code, which eventually turns into like, I don't know, Photoshop. So let's imagine that we're making Grandma 11 Photoshop. We've got hardware, which we make, such as we're making a brand new virtual reality headset glasses, which creates virtual reality. Pretty cool, right? And let's do communication technology. So let's imagine that we are creating a hologram communication ball, so that when you're having phone calls, people appear as a hologram on the screen. So that means that you, when you're watching hologram, can walk around the video and see all sides of a person, like the back of the head as well. Mmm, fancy. Now, Grandma 11 Corporation in their code of conduct say that let's imagine that we've got little Jimmy and little Jimmy is responsible for creating these three things. Let's imagine we've got then little Shez. We'll call it Shez. Now she is so busy in her life doing other things such as, I don't know, playing instruments and stuff like flutes, that during work she hasn't had time to create anything. So what she does is she copies these ideas that Jimmy's been doing. And that is bad. That is breaking the code of conduct. Chairs cannot copy Jimmy's ideas. That's the first thing. It should be Jimmy who gets rewarded for his work. Not Chairs copying his idea. So that is breaking code of conduct. 